Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, JC, and welcome back to my channel once again. And it is finally official that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is the next Call of Duty game being made by Treyarch coming out this year on October 12th. October 12th. I'm not gonna lie guys, it's been a pretty crazy day so far and I reacted to the Black Ops 4 teaser trailer earlier today, right before class. So if you haven't seen that, please go check it out. I got a link in the description for you guys if you wanna see my reaction to that teaser trailer. Again, no official worldwide reveal trailer yet, just a teaser at the name. We just have Black Ops 4 as the name and a little bit of info on what this game's innovative promise is, which is basically to revolutionize the Call of Duty series. That's what it says it's gonna do. It says it's gonna revolutionize everything and we should forget what we know about the Black Ops series. There's a lot of hype going around. I am personally, just this entire day, I've been ecstatic. Like I went to class just nonstop looking at my phone the entire walk there. And it's just, it's so great to be back, baby. Like it's, it's awesome. So what I want to do is I want to get your guys' feedback on the teaser trailer because that's, that's what we do here. That's what we do. We always talk about your guys' comments. So this is a short little things people say on my own on the Black Ops 4 teaser trailer. So let's go ahead and get started on what you guys thought about this trailer. We got a comment from Hilo Silo saying, I almost cried when I saw Mob, dude. Me too, man. Me too. Like, I, I'm pretty sure they intentionally put Mob in there just so we know. They, they of course did it. They always do that stuff. And it looks like Mob is actually coming back. Like, it's gonna come back in some way. I don't think it's gonna come back exactly the same way. I think, like we said many, many times on this channel, I think Mob is gonna be sort of like a reimagined thing in this game at some point. And maybe, just maybe, Transit Crew will be there. I don't know. It's just, that's what I want to happen. And I think many of you guys on this channel who've been watching me for a while probably want that to happen too. If you've been, uh, been around for a bit. <laughs> the next one we have from Aqua Soul says, This announcement alone has finally made me hyped once again for COD. I haven't enjoyed it properly since Chronicles, like many others, and I've been worried this game will be trash, but this announcement alone tells me that Treyarch knows exactly what they're doing. That's awesome, dude. That, that really makes me happy to hear that because that's, that's what we need. We need more people coming back to Call of Duty because after all, there's just so many people right now that are playing Fortnite, that are playing other games right now, and this announcement alone has just shook up the entire community again, which I'm really excited for. What I personally like about this trailer compared to like others is it didn't really show anything new because we're not getting the actual real reveal yet. But this teaser trailer did exactly what it needed to do. It's just showing you straight up that Black Ops 4 is coming. It's coming, it's a thing. We're doing four eyes as the Roman numerals. And it's gonna be basically, uh, it showed the history of the Black Ops series. It showed all these things from the previous games, including zombies. And this is the first time we've ever seen zombies like in the main trailer for the game, which is incredible. Like that's insane. Like the main teaser trailer for Call of Duty had zombies in it. That just shows how big of a pillar zombies is now and how big of an impact it will have in the next game most likely as well. And all that together, the history of Treyarch and the history of the Black Ops series, all of it into the one logo, the Black Ops 4 logo, and then right after it saying, forget what you know. And it showed previously all the things that we know. So I, I really liked how they did it, honestly. I, I like it. it gives me that nostalgic feeling of just thinking about the old teaser trailers and the old trailers we had for the Black Ops series and of course zombies and I don't know I, I'm really hyped again like I've said many, many times before like it's it was great I really enjoyed it. We got coming from Lord Cora saying can't believe it's been two years since I watched videos in this community so how has everyone been? This man this freaking man so I think there's a lot of people out here like this there's a lot of guys that just strictly stick with Treyarch COD and that's it, which is sad because there's awesome things from the other developers. I'm not gonna lie, like it's, you missed out on some awesome stuff. I like the World War II DLC season for zombies so far a lot. Um, but Lord Korra, I think you and many others, we welcome you back. We welcome you to the excitement that is Treyarch Call of Duty and hopefully the community will be stronger than ever this upcoming year. I think it will be, honestly. There's just a lot of hype going into this and I just think the zombies community alone can just feed so much hype into this game. So thank you for coming back, my dude. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure <laughs> Treyarch really appreciates it as well. Uh, moving on to the next comment, we got one from Itchy Fish XD, who says, what if the game is the sort of retelling of the past three games and reveals some sort of secret story that takes place over the course of the games? It could take place in all three time periods. So we get a mix of old school and new school gameplay. That's very interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Super, super interesting. I don't know if they would mix 
the movement, like if they would have like old school movement and new school movement, because I feel like it's important to just have one cohesive game that's all one style. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Zombies is completely different from normal Call of Duty, but in terms of the normal side of Call of Duty, not Zombies, I feel like it all needs to be one movement, just one gameplay style that's unique and feels fresh. Um, I don't know though, I could be completely wrong. I have a couple of ideas on some stuff that could be happening with the story and the premise of this game and possibly the gameplay, but I will talk about that a little bit more on some of the upcoming comments in this video. Uh, we got one from JDog saying, I love how they are releasing BO4 in October and on a Friday. Finally, I get to grind the game before school starts. Yes. Well, I think, I think Black Ops, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the last couple of Call of Duty games have come out on a Friday, unless I'm completely wrong about that. I know Black Ops 3 did, I'm pretty sure. But the fact of it coming out in October, that is unheard of. That is like, the biggest what the F out of this whole teaser trailer is October 12th. That's like the second week of October, which they normally do a month later, the second, the first or second week of November. So that's a big jump. A one month difference is huge compared to how they normally market Call of Duty. And the thing is, Call of Duty has always had that spot. People have been always terrified to go up against that November time slot that Call of Duty is in. And it's gonna be pretty crazy with Call of Duty trying something different this year. And most likely it probably has to do with like Red Dead and all these other big games coming out. They just don't wanna conflict with all that at once. They just wanna have their own time slot just there and ready. Um, and I like it. I like an October release date. There's a lot of people wondering if they're going to do maybe more DLCs because of an October release date. Because if they're releasing the game earlier, they can have a longer DLC season, which is a very interesting theory. I have no idea. No idea, but that's very, very interesting. I mean, we had Chronicles. We had a DLC 5 with BO3. Yeah, it was a love letter and something that happened like a year later, but maybe because of the success of that, maybe they'll want to do five DLCs as the norm, and the last one's going to be a Zombies DLC like we did for BO3, and maybe it'll come out like at a normal scheduled time, maybe just a couple months after a DLC 4. I have no idea. I don't know what they're planning with this game. It seems to be that this game is going to shake things up, not only in terms of marketing, but in terms of the entire game, like the game, the season, everything. It just seems like this is a new take on COD and what COD is supposed to be in terms of how they're advertising it right now. I mean, getting teasers in March, basically announcing the games coming out in October. We got a teaser trailer before we got the viral marketing campaign for BO4 and I hope they still do one. It's, it's just really weird, it's crazy. And there's just so many exciting things. We got a community event reveal in May. That sounds crazy too. That's a completely different thing we've ever heard before. So a lot of things are super different with this game and it has me excited because that's what I've been talking about on this channel. I've been talking about innovating the gameplay, innovating the series, doing something that makes people think, wow, what is Call of Duty doing this year? And this is something that's completely not on the book. This is something that they've never done before and it looks like they're gonna be doing a lot more unique things with this game. And like I said, dude, I know I just talked a lot on this comment, but I'm just excited for that. Like this whole, all this being such a weird release date, it just has me excited for all the other stuff having to do with the game. We got another comment from Jack Rabbit saying, I'm honestly most excited for the campaign and where it'll take us next. The Black Ops series is by far my favorite. I'm not gonna lie with you, man. Black Ops series is my favorite too. I think Black Ops 1 is the best campaign we've ever had in Call of Duty because it just broke so many norms of the standard military campaign and you literally played as an anti-hero in the campaign, which was unheard of for Call of Duty, right? So Black Ops campaigns normally are awesome. They're really great. And the premise of the games are always really, really exciting as well. And I'm super stoked to see what the premise of this game is because it seems like it's gonna be something interesting and something having to do with the past a little bit. So we're just gonna have to see. We don't know yet, we don't know, but I have a couple of ideas. Uh, Jack McManus says, this video just makes me happy. I can't wait for Black Ops 4, but your reaction just made the hype so much more real, dude. I really appreciate that, man. I, I really appreciate that. Like that's that's just what I'm here to do, man. I just, I just wanna have a good time with this upcoming game and the season and I'm stoked, I'm super excited. If you guys are excited too, then that, that just makes everything so much better, so. We're gonna have a good time this year, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna have an awesome time with this game, with the season of content. Just this entire two years coming up is just gonna be the most active and amazing this channel probably will ever be. So just be ready for that. The storm of content is coming, my dude. So that makes me happy to hear, man, it does. Dennis says, when they say it's too good to be true, but then it actually happens. I know how you feel, man, I know how you feel. There's so many people that are saying, oh dude, oh, 
they would never do a four Roman numerals. They would do an IV. They're never gonna do a Black Ops 4. They're never gonna do it. Never gonna do it. It was a trilogy. It was a trilogy. The, 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 that one developer on Twitter said he was thankful to work on the, the Black Ops trilogy. So there's no Black Ops 4. There's no Black Ops 4. Absolutely wrong. All these people are so wrong. But to be honest, it's pretty expected, right? I mean, Black Ops 4 as the name of the game, that's pretty expected. I'm not that surprised. I thought it was gonna be called Black Ops something and they wouldn't do a four, they'd just call it like maybe a subtext under it, but they're just going straight for it, boys. Like they are just going all out. Like this is Black Ops 4, this is the ultimate continuation of the series and a reimagining of the series and that's it. And that's awesome, dude. Like <laughs> I'm so ready. Joe Weeks said, I'm excited for the raw innovation that Treyarch has planned. Their games have gotten more and more packed with content as they went on. Expecting big things this year, we back boys. That is, Pretty much the same thoughts I have as well, dude. Every single Call of Duty game that I can think of that Treyarch has made, uh, especially since like Black Ops 1, I feel like World at War was a little bit of Treyarch sort of following in the footsteps of what Modern Warfare did because like all the systems in World at War were basically the same systems as COD 4, just in a World War II setting. And then we had zombies as their little, their little niche thing, right? And that's when things started to just really progress in terms of Treyarch just being innovative with Call of Duty. They did zombies, then with Black Ops 1 we had the whole wager match system and just more customization. They really, really implemented a lot of customization for the first time in Black Ops 1. The campaign alone was one of the most innovative things to ever happen to Call of Duty. And just zombies in general expanded and expanded just more and more. And Overall, with each game, Black Ops 2 had multiple choice endings. Black Ops 2 was in the near future, the first of the series to go into the near future, go farther ahead than Modern Warfare. And then Black Ops 3, basically zombies became like the biggest thing ever on the game. And then we had a DLC 5 for the first time ever and just so much content is on Black Ops 3, so much. And if that was the content on Black Ops 3, what the hell is the content gonna be on Black Ops 4, dude? Like there is just so much that I'm hyped for because I feel like zombies at this point is not a thing that's just under the rug like, oh, there's there's that little hardcore zombies community over there. No, I think zombies is now as big of a part of the game as multiplayer is. It's absolutely insane how much life the zombies community has given to Call of Duty. I think they understand that the zombies community is huge and we love Treyarch, we love the storyline, we love to see how things are gonna innovate from here on out. And I feel like this year, they're going to go completely, completely all out in terms of innovating zombies and giving us more content for the mode because I just feel like that's what we need. We need more modes, we need something on this game that's fresh for zombies. We need something that will invigorate the community and just really make this game Black Ops 4, not Black Ops 3 2. We want this game to be Black Ops 4. We want it to be something fresh for the series with new things and much more content than we've had before in zombies and I think it's gonna happen this year. So I'm stoked for that. Uh, Shadow Tycoon says, I want this game to be like no other COD. Make me experience that feeling of playing a new game and trying to learn it. This game needs to be the pinnacle of the Call of Duty experience. Plus, October 12th is my birthday. Well, happy birthday in advance for you, my guy. That is an awesome birthday, by the way. Coming out the same day as Black Ops 4. That would be something to remember. But yeah, dude, I absolutely agree. Like I said with the last comment, I want this game to be something that doesn't feel like typical Call of Duty. I want this game to come out and just feel like a fresh experience with a lot of content and a lot of new things for us to talk about. And I want zombies to, of course, be fresh as well in the best way possible. So like I said, dude, I think hopefully they will do that. It sounds like they're going in that direction. They wanna do something that really, really changes the game. And that has me excited more than anything. Phantom Ice says, JC, continue the big stuff, my guy. This year and after will be huge for your channel. Please keep up the consistency. My boy, dude, Phantom Ice, let me just tell you right here, man. Let me just tell you right here. Ever since the whole Chronicles experience, right? Ever since I, I got to do all that and, you know, still this day, I will always talk about that experience because that was a not only a mind-blowing experience, but a life-changing and eye-opening experience just in terms of the industry and just what we can do on this channel, right? Like that was something that was, in terms of like how I, how I do things on this channel, it changed everything. It changed everything. It all became much more real. And all of that happened with one game. Black Ops 3, I started on this channel with 5,000 subs going into Black Ops 3. Basically no audience at all. Like not really consistent viewership, just 5,000 subs and that's it going into the game. And after the entire experience, after Chronicles and everything, 
we're sitting here with over 200,000 and I'm eternally grateful for that, like beyond belief. Like I, I would be happy just to keep you guys watching and that's it, right? But honestly though, I, I can't even fathom what opportunities we'll have on the horizon of Black Ops 4, dude. Just not only me, but just all the guys in the community, all of you guys out there who wanna talk about stuff too, just the people playing this game. I just feel like this community and just everything is just gonna grow so much more and I'm just really excited to see that happening. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna be lazy going into BO4. I'm not gonna be doing uh, the stuff I did going into BO3 because back then at 5,000 subs, is it, that me is not even the same person. It's not. I've grown so much more since then and in terms of just me as a person, not as my channel. And I just, it's gonna happen. Like I, I'm gonna dedicate myself to this game and I hope you guys are gonna be joining me for the ride because it's it's literally everything to me, dude. Like, Chronicles was everything to me and then this has been the number one thing I've been excited for since Chronicles, since I saw the look in Jason's eye when I asked him about stuff about the next game. He, he never told me anything. I always have to make that clear. He never told me anything because why would he? My man's the most cryptic guy on earth. But just from his eyes, just from his eyes, just from the looks he, like, he had when I was talking to him just about all the Chronicles stuff, you could tell that man was excited about the future of his series. You could tell that man was excited about the future of COD, about the future of just the Black Ops series, just everything they're doing, and the development of what they're doing was amazing because the fact that it even did Chronicles, the fact that he came out and, and did that whole thing with my channel and did all of that, it just shows that they were in a very, very happy place in a very good mood. You know what I mean? Like things are going well. And that alone, just the general vibe I got from him with that whole trip and journey was one of excitement and was one of just almost like I, I could tell like in the same way that I'm shaking today watching that reveal trailer or that announcement trailer and just shaking all over. I could tell that man was excited for what's to come and he just could not wait to share it with us all. And that alone has me hyped and that's why with this game you're gonna see the most content you've ever seen from my channel period i know there's a lot to talk about i know i talked about this comment a whole lot but i just want you guys to know that going forward this is gonna be the freaking year it's gonna be the freaking year boys jeff rubel says let's think about forget what you know and what it means could it mean forget everything that has happened in black ops 1 2 and 3 or maybe a whole new play style that's just the thing dude i don't know it could be everything it could be forget the story that happened between Black Ops 1, 2, and 3. Maybe we're rewriting things. Maybe there's some insane, insane concepts in this game. I have an idea of something crazy, but I, I'm not sure if they would do it. But it is Treyarch. It is Treyarch, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of things they could still do in terms of rewriting history that would be really fun. There's something Call of Duty really hasn't done yet in terms of the main games, and that's alternate forms of history. We've never had like an alternate World War II or an alternate modern day or an alternate event that happens compared with the normal story and they could do a lot of that stuff. I don't know if it's like time travel or something like that. That sounds insane, don't quote me on that, but like I would love for that. Like that, that is such a cool idea in my head and just maybe going back to previous events that we've seen in the series and just seeing them in like a new way, that's freaking hype. And I don't know if that's what that means. Maybe forget what you know means the multiplayer as well and zombies. I have no idea. Obviously the zombie storyline will continue in some way and obviously the multiplayer will have some basics of COD in it, of course, but maybe they're going all out. Maybe they're really trying to revolutionize COD multiplayer because they know it just can't be the normal boots on the ground thing and that's it. There's gotta be something fresh in this game to keep the series going forward. And it doesn't have to be exosuits, it just has to be something fun and innovative. I don't care what it is, it just needs to be fun and innovative to keep people playing. And I don't know, man, I don't know. I, I'm hoping for a new play style. I'm hoping for a new play, play style on zombies as well. Uh, just overall, I'm I'm stoked, dude. I'm stoked. I've said that a lot. Uh, Captain said, JC, remember that time when it's about to be back in business. Look, I'll tell you right now, boys. Me and Lex have talked over the past couple of days, and we're both hyped for BO4. He may joke around on Twitter about BO4 and stuff, but he'll be there. He'll be there making BO4 videos, and he's already told me that I remember that time when things people say and all that, the things people say that we do with Lex later down the line, it's going to come back. 
It's gonna come back in a big way with BO4. I can almost guarantee it, okay? I, I mean, I'm gonna be doing things we'll say no matter what. Lex has told me he wants to do Remember That Time one again and all of that once we get content going in BO4. And yeah, just be hyped for that. Be absolutely hyped for that because it's gonna be a thing and I hope you guys stick around for that when we get there in October. It's gonna be crazy, dude. It's gonna be absolutely crazy. But anyways though, guys, we got our last comment coming in from Droid who says, I know JC is hyped for that Misty remaster and you are damn right, my boy. You're damn right. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but that would be so sick if we got like a full, just a full, like just imagine an Origins intro type thing, but with Misty and the Transit crew on Mob the Dead. That is what I want. If I see that, I will lose my mind. Absolutely, we've talked about this in like the last couple of videos too, but I really do think that the transit crew and all those guys are gonna come back for at least Mob of the Dead or at least something in the game. Not all of the maps, but at least something. And uh, I would love for that, dude. Absolutely love for that. So yeah, that's been the announcement trailer day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If your comment didn't get in, I do apologize, but you guys know we do this stuff all the time and it's gonna be a thing going forward into Black Ops 4 as well. That's what this channel is all about. It's about the discussion, it's about the hype, it's about just having a good time going into these things. We're not about negativity here, we're about having a good time with Treyarch, with zombies and just, I'm hyped man. I just, I, I, I've had just like such a great day today man. Like I just woke up, saw this stuff, I was freaking out to just record it and then had to go to class and the entire time during class like we we're getting grades back on my exams and stuff and I was looking at my like grade like on my exam and then at the same time kind of looking at my phone and seeing what was going on in the community and it's just it's just been a great day dude I know this video is super long I know it's gonna be a very very long one to edit and render and get out to you guys tonight but if you stuck through all the way thank you guys so much I will see you guys on the next one this has been me JC Black Ops 4 is finally confirmed we have our teaser trailer and the next thing on our list is probably either the may community event or maybe some other marketing campaign with the story happening probably within the next month or so or just maybe even soon i don't know i think that will still happen they just they always do something like that so i i wouldn't be surprised if we get something in april or maybe towards the end of this month or maybe even sooner than that uh, about the story. We could have teases for the next two months or so. I have no idea what's gonna happen. So yeah, I hope you guys stick around for all that. It's gonna be a ton of fun. And once again, this has been me, JC. I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys have a very, very good one.